This video is brought to you by Smash Balloon. In this video, I'll walk you through how to add an Instagram feed to your WordPress website, and we'll cover it step by step so you can get up and running quickly. Hey everyone, I'm Christina with WP Beginner, where we teach you all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. And one of the best ways to reach your audience is by using social media. One of the best ways to do that is by installing an Instagram feed on your site to interact with your audience. To get this on your site, you're going to install a premium plugin called Smash Balloon Instagram Feed Pro for your website. You can get started with their Instagram Feed Lite version, but I want to show you all the features that Instagram Feed Pro can do for your website. So once you get an account with Smash Balloon and you download your plugin from your account, then you'll want to head back over to your WordPress dashboard. We're gonna to go to Plugins, Add New, and instead of searching for one, we need to upload the plugin. Go ahead and click install now. And you also wanna make sure that you stick around to activate the plugin as well. Great, now that's activated, you see it here, we can go to settings to start things, but we actually want to go to Instagram feed and we need to go to license to add our license key here and then save changes. Great, now that you've added your license key, then we can get started. The first thing we wanna do is head over to the configure tab so we can configure our Instagram feed. And from here, you see this big old blue button where we can connect our Instagram account. So we're gonna click on that and you'll see it's prompting you to do either a personal feed or a business feed. For many of the features that you'll see in this, you'll want to have a business feed. A business or a creator Instagram account will allow you to have or display hashtag feeds, tag feeds, comments, likes, and things like that. It's really easy to upgrade to business and it doesn't cost anything. You can head over and look at the link in the description below on how to upgrade your Instagram account to a pro to get that started. Once you pick the one that you need, go ahead and click connect. Next, you need to authorize Smash Balloon to be able to read or access your Instagram account. Great, once you connect it, you'll see your accounts here and you can connect more than one to combine multiple feeds. If you have multiple feeds to combine, you can do that here. So you just connect another feed and then you're good to go. From here, we can decide that we want to add this account to our primary feed. So this will be our primary feed all throughout our website once we use it. And it brings that here. You can also do public hashtag. So you can just do hashtags of landscapes that you love since this is a landscape Instagram and you can separate the hashtags with a comma. But for this feed, I'm simply just going to keep the user account and that will just bring in all of my images from this account. Now we can come down here and click save changes. And now we need to add it to our website. You can add it anywhere that block editor is. That means a page, a post, widget area. So I'm gonna create a page and we'll call it Instagram feed. From here, I'm going to click on the add block and I'm looking for Instagram feed. We can either search for it and here's the widget. And you see it pulls it in just like that. So it gives you a preview of what it will look like. And now when I go to look at it on my site, we can see it in action. And now we have a beautiful Instagram feed on our website. Now let's check out some of the ways that you could customize your feed. By default, the Instagram Feed Pro will show it in a grid layout style with four columns across like you see here. And by default, it'll show the first 20 images. And when you scroll down, you can choose to click load more or follow on Instagram. And with each of these, you can click on them and it will open up into a light box pop-up where you can see the comments as well as be able to share it right from here. And you can also click to view this on Instagram. And everything that I'm showing you here is completely customizable. So let's go ahead and make some customizations. We're gonna head back over to our dashboard. I need to go to Instagram feed and let's go to customize. Going down to the layout, you see that the grid is by default and you can play with these other layouts, but let me just show you what highlight will look like. It will basically bring all of your images in and it will highlight a few of your posts that you really enjoy in a particular pattern. So we'll click save changes. And when I refresh the page, this is what it looks like. Really beautiful. Now, some of the power of the Instagram Feed Pro is the fact that you can do things like public hashtag instead of your user account. For instance, if you want to simply do a hashtag of WP Beginner and you can do multiples 
if you want. This will bring in all of the hashtags tagged with that. And you can do that. You can even do tagged. So if your account above here is tagged by other people, then you can do that. Plus you can also do a mixture. So if you want to do the user account and public hashtags, then you'll simply want to adjust this bit of short code on your site or on your page in order to do that. So we have these public hashtags. We're going to click save changes and now we can head back over to the site and see how our Instagram feed has changed. So now this is bringing it in for WP beginner and we also have the load more area down below. Now you notice that you don't see the follow on Instagram. That's because this is a public hashtag. Now the cool thing about this is you can create multiple feeds and multiple combinations of these items. If you go to the display your feed tab, then you see all the different ways that you can combine a short code to any area on your post or a page or even your widget area to showcase how this feed looks. Show you some of the power of how you can mix and match different feeds. I'm going to go to appearance widgets and I'm going to add three different feeds to my widget area. I need to first add the Instagram feed widget to where I want it to go. And then I'm going to replace this with these different three different short codes to show you the power of it. So I'm going to save that. And now you see, in addition to having Instagram feed over here, I now have three that I have customized here as well. So you have the first one, you have a carousel here, and then you have another carousel that are two rows right there. So a very powerful way of setting up one or multiple Instagram feeds for your WordPress website. And then because a lot of this is pulling in public information, you can also do a little customizing here, go under moderation, and you can also moderate or remove photos that have certain hashtags or certain words that you don't want to have in your feed. To get started with Instagram Feed Pro by Smash Balloon, just head over to smashballoon.com and make sure you use promo code WPBVIP to get the best discount on Smash Balloon's Instagram Feed Pro. And thanks for watching.